Hello, I'm Nurul Achar, PPC PHIMS and Atari Certified and in this presentation I'm going to talk about the Draft Digital Personal Data Protection Bill 2022 released by the government. The government is now asking for public comments and consultation on the bill. I have taken this information from the following source, IndianExpress.com. So let's start. The bill is supposed to outline the rights and duties of digital networks or citizens while laying out the process and rules for data collection when it comes to companies. The bill also imposes heavy penalties for violations of any provisions of the legislation which will be decided by the Data Protection Board of India as established by the new law. However, orders of the board can be challenged in High Court. Now we'll see Data Digital Personal Data Protection Bill 2020 is based on seven principles. Digital Personal Data Protection Bill 2022 is based on seven principles. The first is that usage of personal data by organizations must be done in manner that is lawful, fair to the individual, concerned and transparent to individuals. The second principle is state that personal data must only be used for the purposes for which it was collected. Third principle talks of data minimization. The fourth puts an emphasis on data accuracy when it comes to collection. The fifth principle talks of how personal data that is collected cannot be stored perpetually by default and storage should be limited to fixed duration. Number six. The sixth principle note that there should be reasonable safeguards to ensure there is no unauthorized collection or processing of personal data. And number seven, the seventh principle is that person who decides the purpose and means of processing of personal data should be accountable for such processing. Now we'll see some key terms related to this bill. Uh, data principle. The bill uses the term data principle to denote the individual whose data is being collected data fiduciary. The term data fiduciary, the entity can be individual, company, firm, etc. which decide the purpose and means of the processing of individual personal data. Personal data. Under the law, personal data is any data by which or in relation to which an individual can be identified. Processing means the entire cycle of operations that can be carried out in respect of personal data. So right from collection to storage of data would come under processing of data as per the bill. Access of basic information. The bill also ensures that individuals should be able to access basic information in languages is specified in yet schedule of Indian constitution. Consent. The bill also makes it clear that individual needs to give consent before their data is processed and that Every individual should know what items of personal data of data fiduciary wants to collect and purpose of such collection and further processing. Individual also have right to withdraw consent from a data fiduciary. Notice of data collection. The notice of data collection needs to be in clear and easy to understandable language. Significant data fiduciaries. The bill also talk of significant data fiduciaries who deal with high volume of personal data. The central government will define who is designated under this category based on a number of factors ranging from the volume of personal data process to the risk of harm to potential impact on sovereignty and integrity of India. This category needs to fulfill certain additional obligation to enable greater scrutiny of its practices according to the bill's explanatory note. Such entities will have to appoint a data protection officer who will represent them. They will be a point of contact for grievance redressal. They will also have to appoint an independent data auditor who will who shall evaluate their compliance with the act right to erase data, right to nominate. Data principal will have the right to demand the erasure and correction of data collected by data fiduciary. They will also have right to nominate an individual who will exercise these rights in event of 
death or incapacity of data principle. The bill also give consumer the right to file a complaint against data fiduciary with data protection board in case they do not get satisfactory response from the company. Cross border data transfer. The bill also allows for cross border storage and transfer of data to certain notified countries and territories. However, an assessment of relevant factors by central government would precede financial penalties. The draft also proposes to impose significant penalties on businesses that undergo data breaches or fail to notify users when breaches happen. Entities that fail to take uh, reasonable security safeguards to prevent personal data breaches will be fined as high as 250 crore. Exemption from adhering to provision of the bill. The government could also exempt certain business from adhering to provision of the bill on the basis of the number of users and volume of personal data pursued by the entity. This has been done keeping in mind startups of the country who had complained that the previous version of the bill was too compliance intensive. I hope you would have found this information useful. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.